Hey guys, Chris Rubens here. Welcome to the Solomon how-to series. Today we're gonna go through what's in a repair kit. And I kind of have two repair kits. I have one that I bring for like my everyday ski touring and then I have a bigger one for if I'm going tent-based or hut-based for a couple weeks. To me, the big distinguishing factor of what I'm gonna bring that day is am I trying to repair it or am I trying to fix it? We can't bring the kitchen sink out there so we have to dumb it down quite a bit. Anyways, let's get on with it. So kind of the kit that I keep in my pack all the time is based on just getting back to the car. So like say I rip a binding out of a ski, I'm gonna strap my foot to the ski. I'm not gonna try and put the binding back in the ski. So for something like that, what I really find is very, very helpful is heli straps. Mm -hmm. And you know, back in the day, my bag got pretty big and I had all this like repair kit. I would say 90% of the repairs I do in the backcountry, I shouldn't say repairs, the like to get out of the backcountry is fixed with ski straps. Uh, I find it takes about five ski straps to strap a, a boot to a ski and you can limp your way out of a lot of places. And a lot of the time that, that's all that I'm realistically gonna do. So the next thing I have in my repair kit is a multi-tool and a screwdriver. For me, it's combined. I have this Leatherman Wave and it's got the classic pliers in here. Uh, it's got a knife, uh, some handy little scissors. But uh, kind of the thing that I really like about this guy is it's got this little guy here and that goes into this bit holder. And so I just go through the hardware store and find these little bits uh, that can fit in here um, and works really well. So this is for fixing bindings, adjusting bindings. Uh, I have a lot of different bits here, anything from kind of bigger Phillips uh, to Allen keys to smaller Phillips and a bunch of torque torque bits. So uh, with all the different manufacturers of bindings and, and stuff out there, we're seeing a lot of different tools that you need or a, little, little, a lot of different bits that you need. And so, uh, yeah, I feel like I've gone through kind of all of them and, and figured out the ones that I, I like and use the most. And uh, that's what I have in the case here. And then other than that in here, I kind of have an assortment of T-bolts or T-nuts. And so if I, if someone in the group or myself loses a buckle or something like that, we can put it back on and, and that can just make your day a lot better and not ruin your day. Uh, the other little thing I have in here is uh, safety pins. I should probably have more than two, but this is for if someone zipper breaks or if you get a big cut in your, uh, in your jacket or something like that and it'll just make your way down that much more enjoyable. Uh, this is fire starter. So in this little guy, I got strike anywhere matches and a little bit of cotton. Uh, that's good to get the fire started. And then this is inner tube. So uh, this will start your fire really easily. It's definitely not the nicest smelling when you start burning it, but it will get the fire going and then, uh, yeah, potentially keep you really warm at night. I have a full wood saw that I use as a snow saw in my backpack as well. So if I was ever to spend the night out, this would make it much more enjoyable. So in kind of the bottom of my repair kit, I always have a little chunk of skin wax and you don't need this every day, but when you need it, you're like really want it. And it's for those days when, especially if it's wet and then you get into drier snow and then it's clumping to the bottom of your skis, uh, you just rub this on your skins and it really helps with that. So it's kind of like a springtime or, or warmer temperature uh, application, but uh, a lot of the times you'll forget to bring it and then you'll realize that you have it like stashed in the bottom of your pack and you're super stoked. It's really light and uh, very effective. So as you can see, my repair kit's actually quite small, um, but it is really effective and you can't bring everything out there. The things that I use the most, I actually keep in my pocket of my pants and that's just the simple stuff. I carry a little thing of sunscreen. This is really good even if it's cold uh, for frostbite, uh, but when the sun pops out and you're not expecting it, you gotta be careful. This is a little scraper. It's actually a dish scrub scraper, uh, but I really like this for cleaning out your bindings at the top or scraping that ice off your, your bases. I use this all the time, every day. And uh, a fun little like pro tip is I use it for my, my snow depth in a, in a, or snow resistance in a snow pit. You can run it down through the snow really nicely and then use the brush to see your layers. So a really like multifunctioning tool there. 
And then one more ski strap. Uh, this is the one that's always in my pocket. So if I'm putting my skis on my bag, I can strap the, the tops together or uh, it's just readily available for anything. So uh, another thing I use all the time. Okay, so now we're diving into a kit that I'm gonna bring on a hut trip or a base camp trip. I'm not gonna have it in my bag when I'm there. I'm still gonna have the same repair kit uh, my day to day. But this will be when I get back, if I've broken something, I can really like look around to fixing the thing. Um, and this kit's kind of come with me all over the world. I've done some crazy repairs on different things. And uh, yeah, it's kind of amazing what you can fix when you're out in the middle of nowhere. So I've got a lot of things in here, but some of it's really basic. So it's really unfortunate if you lose a basket. So it's really nice to have a couple extra baskets and different sizes and you can jimmy rig that. Uh, to make most uh, poles better. I got a sewing kit with a bunch of different needles. I admittedly am terrible at sewing, but I'm hoping someone in the group can sew. Uh, extra buckles. Uh, these guys break all the time, so uh, just a really nice thing. And if you're on a long trip, it really sucks when one of these breaks. Um, I have a bunch of extra buckles that are associated with my boot, um, so I can if I break a buckle, I can uh, fix that no problem. So these guys are just the pins from uh, MTN binding. Um, so if I'm on a lightweight trip, I'll just bring these just in case you like snap these off. Um, but on some trips, you'll bring a whole set, like an extra toe piece or an extra heel piece. Uh, it really depends on, on what you're doing or just like an extra set of skis. Um, I've even had on a trip myself, I, I ripped a pair of bindings out of a ski in Greenland and I was actually able to use these guys. It's an auger bit with a drill bit on it and a hand turn and you kind of work your way up into a bigger hole. And uh, that combined with a Healy coil and some glue and I could completely remount uh, a set of bindings. And it wasn't perfect, uh, but it got me back to where I needed to and the alternative was uh, less, less good. So. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. You can get like a little like hand drill thing that you can put a normal bit into. Um, but yeah, it's something to think about on those longer trips is uh, what you're going to do if you rip a binding out of your ski. So this is another thing I made that I think is really cool. And this is for a broken pole. Um, you, you could actually use it as a splint as well. Um, but for me, it's mainly for a broken pole. And I just cut a, a pole um, vertically in half. And so you get the two pieces. If you're ne near trees, uh, I stick a piece of wood in the bottom and the top of the pole, and then you just clamp this around. And I've actually skied whole trips um, with a pole that's fixed, fixed with this system. So, um, I mean, it's always nice to, to bring extra poles, but if you can't bring extra poles, this is uh, really, really effective and uh, really lightweight. Uh, Gore-Tex, uh, patches so if you ever get like a little tear in your jacket these are super nice uh, a little bit better quite a bit better than duct tape uh, and then uh, waterproofing for the leather uh, this is really nice for your gloves especially on longer trips uh, towards the spring when snow is getting wet and stuff like that it's uh, really nice to keep your gloves nice and dry getting towards the end here but this is just um, a bag filled with kind of skin random skin tails and skin clips and uh, something that I've found over the years, these are pop rivets. Um, so they'll fit right in here and then you just smash them uh, with a hammer or like the end of an ice axe or whatever. So if someone rips the, the skin tail off or, or the, the tip off, uh, you can repair that really easily. Now in the field, you're obviously gonna just do that with a, a ski strap, but coming home, uh, you're gonna want something a bit more. And so I can do that with this kit here. So kind of the last thing here is a bigger bag of uh, nuts and bolts and T-nuts and um, kind of just a bigger version of what I had in my other bag, but a couple other things. Um, and I got a couple like longer bolts here and you never kind of know where you're going to use these. And I find I use them quite a bit. Uh, this is a little pole adapter for a basket if uh, those basket baskets don't work. This is an item what differentiates between my day-to-day -day, um, repair kit and something that I have at the base camp. And, and this is a Healy coil. So what happens is, is if you rip your, uh, your screw out of your ski on your binding, it's obviously a bigger hole now. So you got to make the hole a bit bigger. Uh, you're going to need some glue and then you pound this guy in. And what it does is 
uh, this locks into the core and instead of having a, a stripped hole, now you have a really nice, oops, uh, threaded hole that you can put the screw in and you've effectively done a really, really good job of uh, fixing your ski. So yeah, I got a couple of those in the repair kit here. Another little item here, um, and this is like what will happen on base camps or, or uh, tenting trips is you, you end up doing a lot of shoveling. Uh, so this is like one of those little pieces that, that clicks your shovel together. And I've actually broken a few of these over the years. So uh, when you're winter camping or at a base camp, you end up using your shovel a lot. So I really like to bring an extra one of these. So those are my kind of two repair kits for two different scenarios and they've been refined over years and years of doing this and a lot of different experiences and it constantly changes. I'm adding, I'm taking away and uh, I'm sure you guys have a lot of different ideas and I would love to hear them. So if you have a good idea or tip or trick, uh, mention them in the comments and I'll make sure to read those and maybe I can add something to my kit. For now, make sure you like, subscribe and thanks for watching.